Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over how to calculate the amount of work that's required to move a point charge through a potential difference. And this is example number two. All right, now here's the problem. It says, how much work does an external force do? Or how much work do you do when you move a 15, a plus 15 microcoulomb charge from a point where the potential, or with a potential, of 115 volt to a point where the potential is 210 volts, both of those being positive, okay? Now, this is the way this works. If you're taking AP Physics, and this equation is on your AP Physics equation sheet. Now, even if you're not taking AP Physics, this is the equation. It says that the change in potential energy is equal to the amount of charge times the potential difference through which that charge is moved. This, double, this delta, delta V is the change in potential. Now, you should remember that we're asked to calculate work, and that's okay because the change in potential energy is equal to the amount of work. All right? When you change something's, when you change the potential energy between two charges, you do work. When you do work on charges, you change their potential energy. Okay, so we can calculate both of these. They're equal to each other by multiplying the amount of charge and the potential difference through which that charge is moved. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, the only thing here is we're not given the change in potential, right? I mean, we are given that it's moved from a point with plus 115 to a point where it's plus 210, but we're not given the change in potential. Now, when you calculate the change in potential, you have to remember that it's the final potential minus the initial. You must do that because when we calculate changes in potential, changes in potential energy, potential difference, we have to make sure we use all of our signs. Now, in this case, they're all positive, so that's pretty straightforward. But in the previous video and in some problems, you're going to have negatives and you need to use those negative signs. Okay? So it's the change in potential excuse me, the potential energy is equal to the amount of charge. So we put plus 15, okay, 15 microcoulombs. Now microcoulombs is 10 to the minus six. We have to have coulombs. We can't put microcoulombs. So we change that 10 to the minus six is, is same thing as micro. And we're going to multiply that times the potential difference. And we said it's the final minus the initial, final first and then the initial. Well, the final, it says right here, from a place with a potential of 115, so that's the initial, to a place where the potential is plus 210, so that's the final. So you gotta remember to get your signs, because if you do it this way, you'll get positive. If you switch them, you'll get negative. Use the signs, be aware of the signs. So it's this times, this is the potential difference, 210 minus 115, which means it's minus 15 times 10 to the minus six times 95 volts positive, and therefore, we get that the potential difference, excuse me, the amount of work we do is 1.43 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. Okay, now that's pretty straightforward. But let's just see, what does that mean? Because we could have negative work and we could have positive work. In this case, the answer is positive. This is positive 1.43 times 10 to the minus 3. Well, when we're working with positive charges, or the analogy when you're working with uh, gravitational potential energy, when do you do positive work? What does positive work mean? Well, with gravitational potential energy and with point charges, positive work, positive changes in potential energy means that you're moving something to a place that it does not want to be, right? When you have an object on Earth and you raise it up, it doesn't want to be up off the Earth's surface. And you know that because when you let go of it, it moves back to Earth. So when you raise something up, you do positive work. You change. It's a positive change in potential energy. When you bring something back down to earth in your hand, you have in your hand, you lower it back down to earth, you're doing negative work. Well, what's the, how does that work with charges? Well, this is, let me just show you this. Here is the charge, plus 15 micro coulombs. All right, now we're moving it through a potential where it's plus 15, excuse me, positive to positive. So that means the potential must be created by a positive charge because positive charges create positive potential. The potential around a negative charge is negative. So this is positive, so therefore it must be positive. All right, now, this says the from where it's 115 to 210, well, it's going to be farther away that's going to have a lower potential if you know how to calculate the potential. 
So we're moving it closer. Does it want to be closer? No, this is a positive charge and this is a positive charge. They repel each other. So in order to move these two objects closer together, these two charges closer together, just like when you raise something off your surface, you change its potential energy and you give it a positive change and you do positive work. If we were to move this from here back to 115, it wants to be away. That would be negative work. The magnitude would be the same, but the sign would be different. different. If it's a negative change, negative work means you're moving something to a place it wants to be. If it's positive in this case, it means we're moving it to a place that it doesn't want to be, and therefore you know it's moving closer to the positive charge through that positive potential and that positive potential difference. Okay, so there you go. Pretty straightforward. I think it's good to think about what the answer means and gives you a little bit more of conceptual understanding. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.